Seattle police say a killer is still on the loose in the unsolved case of Archon J. Alabudi, known to many as AJ. He was killed on the streets of Seattle more than a year ago, and police are desperate to find out who's responsible. Our friends with the Murder in the Rain podcast have more. Welcome back to True Crime Tuesday. This week, I'd like to share a story about a man who was murdered while searching for his brother at a homeless encampment. Arkin J. Alabudi, who was called AJ by those close to him, was a loving son, brother, and father of two. Arkin came from a large family with five brothers and two sisters. His brother Mike had recently run into very challenging medical issues, including diabetes, high blood pressure, and a recent diagnosis of cancer. Mike went to stay with family in Michigan, but then on March 1st, 2022, he announced that he was getting a bus ticket to go back to Seattle. After not hearing from Mike for days, Arkin became very worried for his brother's well-being. That's when Arkin decided to go search for him, interviewing homeless people and searching homeless camps. On March 17th, Arkin's body was found on a sidewalk on South Dearborn Street near 10th Avenue South in Seattle. He had been shot to death at around 2.20 p.m. A woman had seen Arkin lying on the sidewalk and called the police. When she searched him, his wallet, keys, and ID were all missing. Unfortunately, there isn't much information on what happened to Arkin, and Seattle Homicide are asking for people to come forward with any information, as Arkin's killer is still on the loose. Arkin's family and Crime Stoppers of Puget Sound are offering a $3,000 reward for information that leads to an arrest. If you have any information, or had any contact with Arkin prior to his murder, you can call Crime Stoppers at 1-800-222-8477 or submit a tip online anonymously at crimestoppers.com. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to join us next week when we'll have a new case on True Crime Tuesdays. And for more from Murder in the Rain, you can follow them on social media and listen to their investigations wherever you stream your podcasts. Tune in to AM Extra every Tuesday morning for a new local case.